you got a special guest and an old mate joining you, which I sense is going to be trouble. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it might be a little bit of trouble today, yeah. So I'm joined by Ryan Cliff. So he's the chef and owner of the Tipman Club in Singapore, and we are doing a dinner together at O'Connor Street Bistro tonight. So it's going to be very exciting, and we're going to do one of the dishes today, aren't we? Yep, we are. So today we're going to do an Aura King Salmon. Yep. Uh, with textures of beetroot, um, some interesting uh, flavours that we've brought from Singapore, technically, um, and with a beautiful New Zealand product. So. Yeah, brilliant. So we've got New Zealand produce, we've got um, Ryan Cliff, we've got Tipling Club. It's going to be absolutely amazing. So we're going to show you how to do that a little bit later on in the show. Now it's back to Mel. Great to have you in the cafe kitchen with us. And of course, Ryan is joining us from the Tipling Club in Singapore. This is fantastic. These two whipping up what? What are we going to make, Ryan? Uh, today we're going to be doing a little uh, Aura King salmon. Okay, uh, nice. We, we traditionally do this with a, a, an ocean trout, but mm -hmm. Mark's brought us this beautiful product here from New Zealand. So the Aura Salmon, it's just been brined. So a brine is normally salt water and salt. All right, water and salt. Yes. We've actually done a distillation of beetroot juice. Right. And then we've infused the beetroot juice with salt and then we cure the fish in that salt sexually. We have uh, some different textures of beetroot. Yes. A little bit of golden beet. Yeah. A little bit of candy beet, that's why I call it candy beet. All these are pickled in different vinegars. Right, is that why you call it candy beet? No, it's a candy beet, that's the actual... Uh, the yeah, so we call it a chogia over in New Zealand. Chogia beet true, yeah. but another word for it is a candy beet. It's a beautiful colour, lovely Isn't textures. It? We have some uh, baby beets. Where's, okay, Where's cool. the salt baked? Oh, and then we, we salt baked some. Um, that's hot, it's coming straight <laughs> out of the oven. Um, these, are oh, what also, that? these are salt baked beetroots. So oh, these yum. are beetroots cooked in a salt crust. Right. Um, which we turn later into a ravioli, which you're going to see in a moment. Brilliant, I think we've sliced some here. salt crust yep. thing before. So. These are just salted, baked, and then lightly sliced. We're going to turn that into a little ravioli. Yum. And then, because we, we, we've got this ox tongue as well, haven't yep. we? Yep. Smoked ox tongue. It's been uh, cooked for about 24 hours. And we mix it with some fresh horseradish, which mm. we got from Secret Garden yesterday. Right. Physically seeing this lady digging up fresh horseradish yesterday nice. was absolutely Ryan amazing. had the option of digging it up, but he's like I don't give a jet lady. That's fine, you deserve that stuff, friend. Yeah. Um, so, so prep is king, really, when it comes and this, to this dish, no, isn't that's it? And something this? all about my food. Uh, this is interesting, this is like the fun element, isn't this, it? This is freeze-dried um, beetroot powder that we mix with a little olive oil. We turn it into a little crispy, and it's te technically it's just pure flavour. Everything about my food is flavour, that's it. It's, yeah. it's, it looks pretty. But I'm not concerned about how it looks, I'm actually concerned about how it tastes. Right, okay, sorry Mel. Um, <laughs> and, and I've got to say, nice you night. guys... <laughs> well, that's part of the pretty. Um, oh. So, honestly, like, you guys are in for a treat, because Ryan's just told me the other day, like, you just won best uh, restaurant and bar in the world. Oh, well, there you go. Like, like such an amazing yes. accolade. And, and well, so many done, accolades. That's well. awesome. And the whole thing about the Tipling Club is, um, you know, Ryan does the food and the cocktails, so it's, it's very much... You know, there's wine as well, isn't there? But yeah. it's more sort of cocktail and food pairing, yeah. matching. I mean, and we're, we're cocktail focused. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we, uh, last week on Saturday, we won, yeah, best restaurant bar in the world in New Orleans. That it's is Tales awesome. Cocktail, which is the sort of biggest accolade a bar can get. So, wow, so it's absolutely yeah. amazing. Yeah. You are so, the right man to have here. Yeah, we Loves can make a good, a good drink. drink. Loves a good drink. Uh, yeah, and I can vouch for that because we had, uh, me and the wife had a very good night um, <laughs> eating and drinking lots of cocktails and um, yeah, nearly missing the plane. I've put day. him on a plane drunk many times. So, <laughs> so, yeah, so, right? Good. Right, oh, okay, cool. Well, should we crack into it then? Yep. Do, what do you want to do? Do you, do you want do you want to get into the uh, in a minute? Well, I think we're going to get ready. Well, I'm bagging we'll back, yeah. and then we're going to plate the dish because we've got some got some great techniques. Yeah, so it's very technique fun. focused as well, like the dish. And then we're going to take our time and just plate it and show you at home how you can make your fo food at home like stunning. Wow, this is so exciting. Okay, cool. We'll come back in just a minute more of Ryan and Mark's salmon dish straight after we catch up with Holly. We are going to love the food that we're doing because Ryan and Mark are whipping out something very special for us. It's quite a special day, probably. Uh, you know this. This is probably the most exciting chef I've had here, <laughs> except for oh, you, Mark. Are you giving me a Come on, come on. All right, very simple. So what we're doing right now uh, is the Aura King Salmon yep. uh, with what I call textures of beetroot. Mm -hmm. So we have some very different textures. Here we have just a little bit of uh, baby beet, the yes. te te technical baby beets, some pickled beets, golden beets, candy beets, all the different textures. Mark's just chopping it up now. Um, we have the salt baked beetroot that right. uh, has been baked in a salt crust. What this does is just in, enhances the flavour. Right. Everything we do yes. at the restaurant is about accentuating flavours. Right, essentially. okay, cool. This is about, it's baked for about four hours mm -hmm. in a salt crust. You see it's shrunk. It started off at the same size. Um, what we do with that... I'll chop some of that. Yeah, 
is uh, just rip it open. It's essentially the salt crust. Um, so you don't want to eat the salt crust? No. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit salty. <laughs> it's a bit salty. <laughs> it's a bit salty. Um, what we're going to do now, just slice it really thin. But you see the texture. If you cut oh, off a section that. now, just take a slice of that. That is beautiful. Right. Um, Ooh, yeah, you'll thanks, see Chef. it's 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 technically mm. sorry fingers um, it's technically infused you have all the salt flavor going into the beetroot it's just about oh yeah that's beautiful okay <laughs> all we do is slice it very thinly yes what Mark's doing now is um, this is a little smoked ox tongue yes it's been smoked for about 24 hours and then we cook it at 72 degrees for about 48 hours um, in, a, in a water bath and we mix it with some fresh horseradish, which we got from uh, Secret Garden yesterday. Oh, it's, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Massive, like, horseradish. Stunning day for me. Straight off the plane, straight into a, a farm, picking our own herbs. It was absolutely amazing. We're just taking that, just basically forming, like, a little um, ravioli, oh, yeah. technically, yeah. of salt-baked beetroot. You haven't forgot how to do this, have you? <laughs> no, no, look at, good. That's look at that. Effect. Like that. And give me a job. <laughs> the Aura King salmon is actually, it's, it's brined in the beetroot juice and salt um, and then basically warmed in the oven. So it's right. technically, it's, it's, it's still raw. Right, but okay, cool. Just lightly warmed through in the oven. We're able to do this uh, just there. It's about 65 degrees, a few seconds. We have the beetroot crispies. Yes. Right. And, um, and then we're going to start plating. Yeah, we're going to start plating. Well, how, how did you come up with this? Like, you know, as a chef, when you, you know, you're one of the best in the world at the moment. How do you actually sit down and come up with these recipes? What inspires you? Sleep deprivation. <laughs> 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 Months on planes. Yeah, yeah thinking. Yeah. So what we have here, this is a little bit of uh, beetroot juice. Yes. That we've actually distilled in a rotary evaporator. So, right. um, under vacuum. There's a lot of preparation. There's a lot of that. That's why I sent my guys from I know. like four <laughs> days ago. My guys have been here getting all this stuff ready for me. We're just going to take a little bit of puree, like so, onto the plate. Yep. So, this Easy. is a cool part now. Watch mm -hmm. this. Just make a little pattern. Oh, pretty. Like so. Look at that. We're going to take our salmon, normally slightly warm, onto the plate. A little bit of salt. So, beets. Oh, this is incredible. Candy beets that are lightly pickled. Uh, we have our ravioli. And these are all, there's, there's still a lot of texture in there. That's it, the idea. So everything, everything you're eating, it's about, it's about the texture, technically. Okay, a little bit of uh, thickened sherry vinegar. Oh, this is incredible. Some horseradish. This is uh, a puree of uh, fresh horseradish. Yes. You see, you even you dab it on the tea towel just to make sure you're going to get the right consistency coming out. It's all about the presentation. And I thought you said you didn't care about it, but look at this. No, but that's the <laughs> thing. I mean, a little distillation of beetroot. Yeah. And we're just going to finish off with the crispies. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, we need one, two, three, four, five, six. We need about 13 of those things. <laughs> and how many in the control room? There's a lot of touches. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of touches. Then we just have some fresh sorrel. It's a little micro sorrel from uh, the secret garden that we okay. picked yesterday. Oh. As I said, a very simple dish of... Uh, Beautiful. Or some. That is absolutely incredible. Look at that. Okay, um, thank you so much for being here. This is, this is so great. And I'll get to taste that a little later on. <laughs> and over to a man that brings us so much joy with all his incredible food, especially today with your guest, Mark. Well done. How did it turn out? Yeah, it's amazing. It's been, oh, it's been hot today in the kitchen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Presentation's on fleek. Do you want to try it? No, uh, yeah, bring it over. Bring it over, right, boys. Let's go. And Ryan, I was thinking, what would be the cocktail that I shall order with this? What do you, what do you reckon? Uh, this one I'd serve with something like sake based. Oh, yeah. Probably. I'm coming um, to your restaurant. Nice and clean. Super right. simple. I'll book a year in advance because it sounds busy. <laughs> okay.